the interrogation room. Emily Kegel, we finally caught you. Uh, what? Where am I? Oh, don't act so innocent. You know exactly why you're here. No, I, I, I really don't. I'm sorry, who are you? I am Detective Emily. We have reason to believe that everything that you've said about your H205 experience is complete baloney. And what we want is the truth. Uh, what? Oh, right. You really want us to believe that you spent hours at a time reading the articles and then came into class still completely confused. Yes, that's a thousand percent true. I often have trouble deciphering textual evidence and it took me a long time to read articles. See, this is what normally happens. Oftentimes, I would start reading late at night because I dreaded even the idea of reading. Then I would sit for sometimes more than four hours at a time trying to understand the text. Usually this would cause me to finish around 2 o'clock in the morning and make me extremely tired the next day. Then I would come into class and find out that everything I thought I understood about the reading was completely wrong and that I would have to go back and reread the entire article again while also reading the newly assigned articles for the next class. Ha! You're lying! What? How could I possibly be lying about that? I have literal footage of me at 2 a.m. struggling to read the articles. Watch this. Hey mom, um, it's me. I believe it's... What time is it? I would even start the time. I believe it's, yeah, it's two thirty in the morning right now. Um, I'm trying to go through all the article stuff and like everything, but it's just not. It's not going. Um, I'm gonna have to go to bed though, cause literally, like, I'm gonna be not even going to be able to pay attention tomorrow in class if I don't. So I'm gonna pray for tomorrow. Wish me luck. <laughs> Ooh, yikes! Yeah, that, that's pretty rough. So did your reading ability ever grow? And if so, how did you do it? Um, honestly, not really. I. I just learned that I would have to dedicate a lot more of my time to reading the articles and be sure to come into class with more questions. Uh, the time it took to read the articles never actually changed, but my understanding improved over time since I asked more questions. Interesting. Well, it sounds like class time really helped you learn. Well, yes and no. Sometimes when I talked with my peers in class, they were really helpful and really helped my understanding grow. However, um, I remember one group I was in Sheesh, they were not helpful at all. It was awful. I was in this one table group where it seemed like my ideas were completely different than anyone else there. They all had similar beliefs, but I was the odd man out. When I'd come to class, I'd be so confused. They'd say things to me like, Oh my god, this is so easy. Why don't you get it? Did you even read the articles? I took offense to this because, yes, I was reading the articles for hours at a time. And I mean, it, just because they thought something was easy doesn't mean it was easy for everyone. Interesting. So I guess class time was extremely hit or miss. You can say that again. And on top of that, there were even times when my classmates would come in and brag about all the partying that they did the night or so before. And I mean, that really hurt my anxiety because I'm so anti-partier that it made my anxiety go through the roof. It was all I could do to focus on the class material. So let me get this straight. At times you grew, when you felt like you were heard and understood, and then there were other times where people said something, or did something, or made a bad choice, that it caused your learning to suffer. Exactly. Well, it sounds to me like this class did nothing to help you improve. Well, that's not true. Even though my assignment scores only went up a few percentages over time, my essay structure strongly improved. How so? Well, when I started, my essay structure was all over the place. My main argument points were not even really present. I even had frequent quote bombs throughout my work. However, as I continued the class, my structure and argument points improved and I only needed to work on the structure of my interior paragraphs rather than the entire essay structure. I was able to do all of this by religiously watching Dr. Q's comment videos on my assignment scores and this really helped me and I think you should definitely continue doing this in the future. Interesting. Anything else I should know? Yes, my actual note-taking skills in this class strongly improved. If only I had my notebook here to show you. You mean this notebook? Wait, where'd you get that? That's classified information. If I do look through here though, you can definitely see that uh, the last half of the notebook is a little bit more simplified than the first half of the notebook. It looks like you wrote down more of the main points and arguments than in the first part, which is just like literally like everything the article remotely said. It sounds to me like you improved in this class by going through the articles and only writing down the most important aspects so then you could come into class the next day and grow your understanding so you had more of the more accurate points to discuss. Exactly. Well, as much as I've loved having this conversation with you, I kind of need to get back to the brain because Emily's been asleep for like 10 hours and I kind of need to go wake her up.
you can go. Until next time on The Interrogation Room.